Hey guys, Scooter Street here. Wanted to do a quick video today on the rear torque driver for the Minarelli engine, which is the engine that you find uh, in scooters such as Yamaha Aerox, uh, Jog, um, uh, many other makes and models of scooters like the Adley or the Bug scooters. Um, so these scooters typically have a problem with um, the gearing not returning to a low gearing after deceleration. So in, uh, in practical sense what this is, is uh, you might come up to an intersection or you come up to a hill uh, and you go to accelerate after decelerating. So you might go from say uh, 80 kilometers to 30 kilometers an hour or 20 kilometers an hour. And then you go to re-accelerate uh, and the bike just bogs down and won't rev and, uh, and uh, appears as though it's stuck in a high gear. This is because it is. So this, is, this here is a torque driver or the clutch shoe assembly, which is made up of uh, two parts. The torque driver, which is this rear part, and the clutch shoe here. Clutch assembly is what it's commonly called. Now this is in the rear of your transmission, so you have your variator at the front, and this is the pulley at the rear, which does essentially the exact reverse of the variator, as well as having the clutch uh, doing its, um, its part there as well. So when it's actually on the scooter, obviously it'll have a belt coming through the torque driver there, and it will also have the clutch bell on the front there, which is held on by a single nut. Pop the nut off, then the, um, the clutch bell slides off, and this slides off the shaft, which goes into the diff. So essentially uh, what this problem uh, is caused by is small pins inside, um, inside the torque driver here, underneath here, wearing, which actually sit in a small slot, have small pins sitting in a, in a slot. And over time, the, particularly the Minarelli, uh, Minarelli engine has a, a real common problem with doing this. Uh, this. The pins wear grooves into the slots. So where the pin should sit relatively snug inside the slot, the pin wears a deep groove into it and is able to um, the, essentially the, um, the pin is able to move into areas that it shouldn't be able to move. Now the way this works, similar to the variator, in fact the exact reverse, when the belt is down all the way into the inside of a torque driver, which means that the torque driver has been, this part, has been squeezed closer to the clutch, obviously you have your spring in there keeping tension, that's when you're at your high gearing, as in you're going fast. When the belt is around the outside, that's when you're in, uh, in your low gearing, which means that the, um, the bike's going slowly. So what this is designed to do is because the belt is coming through at a certain rotation, it's, it's coming through anti-clockwise, the torque driver opens clockwise. So it actually has to, this, this part here, has to twist clockwise to open up and then twist anti-clockwise to decelerate. What this means is as the belt is feeding through, this always naturally wants to decelerate. So it has a tendency to decelerate, which is um, what helps it actually work. Otherwise, what you'd have happen is as you accelerated, this would have a tendency to open up, which would force it immediately into high gearing rather than letting the rollers do their job. So um, hopefully that makes sense. But essentially what, um, what this needs to do, uh, this here must have to twist clockwise to open up what happens when you wear big grooves in the slots is that it's able to move out without twisting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this open. I'm going to pop the clutch off, which is done by removing this nut here. And we're going to have a look inside. And I'm going to physically show you the pins and the slots so that you get a, a better visual understanding of what's going on in there. When you're doing this, be really careful. Uh, this is a brand new one, obviously. But um, be really careful that uh, the sides of your nut aren't, um, aren't damaged because um, if they are and you're using an old tool, it is very easy to round the nut off and make it very difficult to get off. Also, when you're doing it, make sure that you have a little bit of, um, you have uh, uh, your hand, your second hand holding onto this, or a lot of time we'll do it on the floor with our feet on either side, because that contra spring is under compression underneath there, and as soon as this nut comes off, it's gonna wanna jump off. So um, uh, it can um, yeah, fly off and hit you in the face and make this a very unpleasant experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off. There it is there. Now, I'll show you how this works in a moment. What we need to do is pop this sleeve here off, which um, if your bike's really old, uh, uh, even if it's new, this can be a little bit tight. So um, we're gonna use a flat blade screwdriver and a hammer and just really gently apply some pressure around here until it pops off. Right, I've just pre-loosened this one a little bit off camera. But um, I'll just show you essentially what you're trying to do is 
gently and slowly pry this little sleeve off and get it to a point that you can almost get it off with your fingers. Not many things, it's about patience and not damaging it. Alright, suctioned on there by the heavy grease a little bit, should come off in a second. Particularly, there we go, particularly when they're new they can be a little bit tough because they've got some really high viscosity grease in there. Okay, so you'll see there's a little O-ring there, I'll try to just pop that back down. Okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier. These are the pins and slots. So you'll see as it comes up, this little pin in here guides along the slot. Now what stereotypically happens on a Min uh, Minarelli engine, uh, other scooters do do it as well, but the Minarelli engine for whatever reason is uh, stereotypically really bad for it. Uh, this little slot here wears a groove on the inside, on the outside, sorry, on this side here, it wears a big groove, the pin uh, wears a groove on the inside there, which basically means that it allows the torque driver to move in and out without it actually twisting. Now the reason for the twist is because what you don't want to do, what you don't want to happen is as the belt, because uh, of the rotation of the engine, the belt to rip the torque driver apart as soon as it's under acceleration or stop it from being able to push it back which is why these grooves go the direction that they go so what it's trying to do is prevent the engine from uh, stopping the torque driver from being able to close is the, the, the simplest way of explaining it so what happens is when you have a groove there uh, essentially the engine is fighting the torque driver the rotation of the belt is fighting the torque driver from being able to close again, which is um, what you need it to do to be able to push the gearing back. That's its job. Variator is to advance the gearing. Torque driver is to push the gearing back. So what's happening is, as you're pulling up to a um, to an intersection, uh, or you're decelerating and then trying to accelerate again, the torque driver is just getting stuck in that groove rather than returning all the way to um, to its lowest gearing, which um, uh, makes it quite difficult to accelerate after having decelerated. So the only way to fix this, obviously you can't add metal back on uh, back to the inside there. The only way to fix it is to replace the torque driver. So this particular assembly that we have here comes as a whole assembly with a brand new clutch. If you have a performance clutch, this is exactly the same as a factory, so you can just go ahead and move your performance clutch over to this torque driver. Really good replacement item, and um, certainly makes it a lot easier than trying to repair something like that because um, uh, there's virtually no way of being able to properly repair that. You're just going to continue having the same issue and battling the same issue until you replace the part 